Here we go, 2023 Top Scrum Update Baseball Jumbo Half Case Pick Your Team Break number six. I think I would have numbered these somewhere. Oh, there it is. Uh, one, two, three, four. Well, I'm going to have to put it in order. Okay, there we go. So very likely that this is going to be the last break of a very eventful jam-packed night of breaks, which is really what we needed. Granted, I wasn't live yesterday, but yesterday would have been pretty close to today anyways, the way everything was shaping out. So, but uh, yeah, you guys came through. I greatly appreciate that. Wednesday and Tuesday, or Wednesday and Thursday were like grossly slow like really crazy not good slow days so to bounce back on saturday night the way you guys did was amazing because they it was like really really slow if you were in here you just you saw very very slow but Today has been nothing but just non-stop rips. It's been obvious. It has been just awesome. Plus, you add in add in on top of that all that Bowman draft on the website too. Kind of, I don't want to say stealing the show or anything, but kind of, you know, people buying teams in that as well. So pretty awesome, and I greatly appreciate it. All right, here we go. Everything ships. We're gonna bust through the base cards pretty quick, but everything ships. You guys already know. Little Soto ASG. Grant Anderson. Bachman. Really need to hit a pro debut patch, man. I would just be that would be the freaking cherry on top of a of this week. Cody Clemens rookie autograph for the Phillies. And it would just be awesome. It's not gonna be live in the jumbo though, unfortunately, but still would be cool. So we're looking we're looking for a redemption here, you know. Bush. Michael Harris, rookie. I was going to say, as soon as I flip it around, everything's going to go back the other way. Happens every time. Giants. These are number to three ninety nine. Rookie at Refractor Seattle. Ooh. Try to get these to kind of unstick from each other. Luis Castillo for Seattle ASG Auto. I don't think these ones are numbered, right? No. Corbin Carroll ASG. Gunnar Henderson. Logan Allen. A lot of rookie stuff here. Okay, Otani. Rod. 
Watchmen. Julian. Kevin Kelly for the Rays, number to two ninety nine autograph. Okay, first box, nothing too crazy, nothing too great. No. No, I did not. Mostly because there is way too many baseball products that have been coming out. And I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all the baseball that's coming out and not enough time to like get through what I already have. And yeah, one of the reasons why we don't have Bowman Chrome or would have been Bowman, yeah, Bowman Chrome Sapphire. Like those online exclusives, like it's, you know, they're good products or whatever, but like I already have to buy all this through the distributors and direct through tops. And then those online exclusives or whatever come out and then could pick some up, but I already have been buying all this other stuff direct. It's yeah, it's just been so the online stuff has kind of been. I just have not focused in on it to be honest. It's a lot of baseball. Like the the it has been an unbelievable amount of baseball these past couple of uh, months. I feel like I literally cannot catch up. Every time a new one comes out, I'm like, fuck! I still got I still got three cases of the the prior product. Which is not bad. I, I don't mind having some extra stuff, but it's like the, every single every single freaking release. So yeah, that's that's the long answer. The short answer is no. They couldn't even just let next week just be Bowman Draft. They got Topps Chrome Black coming out on Friday. Yeah, I that Bowman. I haven't heard nothing on Bowman's Best, and at this point, yeah, no, there's definitely not going to be any Bowman's Best in December for sure. But that's what I'm saying, dude. It's like nonstop. I'm like, oh my god, so many. Like, I like that, but at the same time, oh, man, it's just been a lot. It's just been a lot. All while the, the basketball releases, only, there's only just been, like, big-name basketball releases, the, the more expensive shit coming out, which has its pros and cons. And then football has pretty much been non-existent during this time frame. Yeah, it's, yeah, I feel, I, like, literally cannot breathe. In, yeah, NT Baseball is going to be coming out here pretty soon, too. I think they might have pushed that one back, actually. But that that has been one um, nice thing. Is Obviously, Panini still makes the base, baseball products and stuff, and we break those, um, too. And luckily, the only thing that has really came out since like the past two months where Topps has just been going crazy on baseball releases is uh, Chronicles Baseball. And, um, but yeah, that could have been even more of a nightmare if Panini started pushing some more stuff out during the same time. 199 Garcia. 
NT Baseball. Okay, end of the month for NT Baseball. I knew it was later. I, I didn't know if they, they pushed a couple things back recently. Nathan Luke's blue to 150 for the Blue Jays. But yeah, that's another one that's coming out. It's, it's a lot of baseball. Like in a, at a time where like, yeah, like it's, it's very like the timing has just been just terrible. Like absolutely terrible. Baseball's out of season and now all of these products are coming out. And then on the flip side, this I'm talking tops and Panini with stuff because obviously tops on the baseball end, but then on the, on the, for Panini, it's like basketball season is like in full swing and everything. And we're like, there has been some basketball products, don't get me wrong, but it's been all of like the higher end ones and not much of the 23, 24. Just autographs and relics. Do they even have base? I don't even know if they had base last year. I don't even remember there being base anyways. Three ninety nine for the Red Sox. Yeah, I don't think they had base last. Like they do, they do for other like for NT basketball and football, they do have base. But I don't, I don't for 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 baseball, I don't think they do. I don't think they do it like that. Yeah, iMac iMac basketball was supposed to come out right around nowish, sometime around here, and then they pushed it back. But you think? Literally, these are the past basketball releases. There's been a there's been a couple smaller ones in this in in this time frame, but you're talking like flux hoops. I mean, come on now, right? But there was Noir, NT, one and one, iMac, all within like two months or something like that. That's that's a lot of high end basketball. Flawless basketball is supposed to be coming up. In the beginning of 2024, too, right? Bryce Miller, rookie autograph for Seattle. It's just been like, it's been crazy. And not ideal either. Like, they, it could have been, this could have, this could have worked out a little. They could have. This was not the ideal schedule to release stuff in. But. I don't make the dates. I don't make the release dates. I just got to figure it out on the fly. Uh, how much is it? How much are they? How much they got it posted for? Eight forty nine. Jordan Walker refractor. Well, I will say Panini is charging us more for these boxes than they've ever had this year. You would think that it would come down a little bit, but no. Cleveland. But number to one ninety nine. The thing is, is what's going to happen is, is they're eight forty nine, but we're going to be doing breaks probably. I, I'm just this is just me. I don't know the numbers in front of me. You know, I don't have the numbers in front of me, or I'm just guesstimating. But eight forty nine. I mean, those boxes aren't going to be sub five hundred. You know, in this day and age of sports cards, they're just not going to be sub five hundred dollar boxes. But a thousand, you know, pushing a thousand is a little bit crazy. But I, if I had to guess, I bet you. Um. Arcia to two ninety nine, Braves. I bet you if they're eight forty nine a box, I bet you we're doing breaks at like I don't know, probably seven hundred dollars a box, charging seven hundred per in the group breaks. Which I mean, it's not terrible. You think about like some of these other products that we were ripping, like Origins or whatever, that's like $300 a box. You think two of those or one Prism, which one are you taking, you know? But either way, still though, it's still a lot. Yeah. 
It is. It, it's it's still it's still a lot. But I will say it's crazy because Panini is charging us more this year than they like. You know everything keeps creeping up or whatever. But it's like I've said this multiple times where the obviously whenever boxes on the re on the on the secondary market balloon and and pop up. Panini's obviously selling it for their they they already have their you know price that they were looking to sell it for because they're going to make their margin. On the secondary market, it's way up high or whatever, and that's fine and dandy. But then whenever stuff starts to level out, they start to increase their their price every year because like, well, last year the stuff was this, so we're you know we're going to increase a little bit more. No one will complain because there's people are still going to be able to make their money. We're going to increase it a little bit more, and there's I'm sure stuff you know everything costs a little bit more now, but you know you know got to be. But either way, they. But the problem is is whenever stuff starts to come back down they don't they're 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 slow to raise their price and then they're going to be slow to reduce their price so we're 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 not in it yet but we're going to in, in, eventually get into that uh, spot where it's like the dealers are paying like a premium for boxes and then stuff comes out and we got to charge like not a premium price even though we had to pay panini a premium to get the boxes we're slowly inching our way to that like i said they're they're slow to increase their price whenever shit's hot and when whenever shit gets cold they're even slower to to adjust for that and it's yeah so it's great for the dealers whenever they're slow to increase their price but whenever they increase their price and then they're slow to retract it back down that is whenever it's going to be not good Oh, the economics of sports cards literally doesn't make any sense. There's nothing you can compare the economics of sports card to. There's no other products that are like this. There's no other product where it's like, it's a, it's a small game of chance. Well, it's not really a small game, but you get what I'm saying. It's, it's a game of chance, essentially. And the economics of it all is absolutely wild and bonkers. And there's no other market out there that has this kind of layers to it you know there's collectible markets and this and that but whenever you're talking sealed wax it's a it's a crazy it's a crazy thing Freeman for the Guardians, yeah. But I, but I damn, I love it. I love playing the game. I love playing the sports card game. You don't always win. You're gonna wind up in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the red quite often. But as long as you're in the green more than you're in the red, you'll be all right. I wish these weren't sticking together so much. It has been six hours of essentially non-stop breaks in here. So that was awesome. Michael Harris for the Braves to 199. Gold, hey, I like this one. Joey Weimer, gold wave, 10 out of 50 for the Brewers. I love 
Yeah, buddy, what you would want to do is you're going to look up that card on eBay. So you'd go to eBay, search in the card. Um, you know, there's on the back of the card, there'll be like the year in the set. Um, yeah, 2023 tops. Tops crown. And then put in the player autograph or if there's a, a serial number on it or something. And then you could find the card on eBay. You can look at what people have it listed for for sale, but then what you really want to look at is the sold listing. So then you would filter to look at sold listings to see what the card has sold for. And then that would give you a good idea of what the card is valued at. Joey Ortiz, refractor autograph number to 499. Then Joyce to three ninety nine Angels. For some, we got one more box. pretty good company okay the last box here guys top chrome update jumbo baseball we need something nice man joey joey weimer gold i like it but we can do better Okay, here we go. Last box and the last break. Unless something, some miracle happened and one of those random team breaks sells out. Oh, 
keep thinking these pinks or reds. Damn it. No. Please no. A Vargas for the D backs. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Mike Trout, ASG. Vavra, base autograph, Baltimore. Ellie De La Cruz hasn't have, ha, had a flagship rookie yet. Oh, damn. Garrett Hill, base autograph on card for the Tigers. Williamson to 150 blue for the Reds. Bush, Hunter Renfro. Oh, give us a good orange right at the right at the last hit. Give us a good orange. Duran for the Texas Rangers rookie orange wave refractor autograph. The Rangers going out to George. 18. Out of 25, our lowest numbered card out of the break. Yeah, well, guess what? I still ain't breaking fucking series one. I'm not doing it, man. I put in my dues. I, I've, I, I've, I've ripped flagship at the beginning. I ain't doing it no more. done with it I hate it unless unless there's no other baseball products coming out around that time then maybe we'll slip in a couple drummers but probably not even though that is a big chase though did I rip some this year I don't think I did did I did I really? I mean, I was just joking. I mean, I might end up ripping some. Like I said, it depends on the cake, the 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 time frame of other releases. But I didn't remember opening any this year. I mean, maybe. Hmm. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Not that much. I do not recall. That's weird. Ah. All right, really not a whole lot to show for anything in this four box rip here. That was a decent one there. That was a decent one. But really not a whole lot. I seriously do not remember it. I seriously do not remember ripping any flagship this year, but 
Not to say that I didn't, but I don't remember. Top Scrum Update Baseball Jumbo Half Case Number Six. Thank you. Appreciate it.